and we have somebody. Hey, y'all. I'm back, y'all. It's pop. All right, so we are back with another episode because I feel like this is a show because, you know, that's what I feel like. But we're back with KP. I don't know what to call you. KP? Kim I prefer Lamar. to go by KP. We're back with KP. And um, to chop it up again. Let's do it. All right. What are we talking about today? Well, uh, we have a few topics we want to revisit, but before we do that, um, KP, mm -hmm. tell them a little bit about yourself, just a little bit, um, until we get a few more people in. Because, you know, yesterday, I thought you was like 26. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. So, um, just do a quick introduction. Um, wow. I don't know what to say, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, my uh, name is KP. Mm -hmm. I am 30 years old. I have nine. I'm her years. brother, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm a stand up dude. I don't get in no trouble. I take care of my responsibilities. I feel like you was finna start rapping. <laughs> it felt like you were going um, into a. I work hard every day. And I love my woman. Uh, my woman. Okay. My woman. All right. <laughs> My woman. <laughs> <laughs> All righty then. All right, y'all. Oh, uh, and also, he raps a little bit. So, he did he, you know, he dibble no, dabble. No, I'm sorry. I spit a little bit. You know? Yeah, yeah. He dibble dabble a little bit. Um, So, hey to everybody who's joining. We're just going to jump right in. Mm -hmm. Um, First, I just want to say, yesterday was an awesome. Hey, Skip. Yesterday was an awesome um, episode. Yep. And um, just a really quick recap where we talked about, you know, the the whole situation of step parenting and things like that. Mm -hmm. So first thing first, I want to segue into this before we get into our um, actual topic. I just want to kind of go back a little bit because we addressed step parenting. But what we didn't talk about, get a chance to talk about was, um, the I guess, maybe the do's and the don'ts or when do you introduce somebody into that situation it's kp see see now kp well kp it's hard i'm still one call you skip but he said he want to be kp yeah kp I mean, number he, one kp he number was two. kp first but kp number one and kp number two i got you that's kendrick. what people call me beside my family members all right so for everybody else this is kendrick and then that's kp whichever one you want to say all right so um the do's and don'ts like you know a lot of people get in relationships, and you mentioned yesterday how normally a female won't introduce her her kids to a guy early on. Yeah. So just just the, kind of a quick revisit. When do you think is the appropriate time? And this is not even so much for kids. Like you can speak on the kids part, mm -hmm. but like when do you introduce? Do you have to introduce your girl to your baby mama or baby father or you know like that? Not your baby father, obviously, but um. Is that like a time frame for that? Like, is that something people should do? Yeah, I, I definitely think it's a time frame. You know, um, it's like okay, on the on the end of being a on the parent side of it, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's much kind of like what one of your uh, viewers said yesterday, where you have to. I guess you have to be solid within the relationship. You mm -hmm. it needs to be a, a foundation laid down. You need to have a, a destination of where y'all trying to go as a family. Um, me, preferably, I would say the man should have a solid plan or whatever the case. But in some um, relationships, it'd be the opposite, it, whatever how it go. Mm -hmm. But um, you execute that plan. Once you got that solid, then um, you will have the respect of the children naturally. Because nine times out of ten, you know, as kids developing, whether they're young or even if they're teenagers, mm -hmm. they can see. They can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. They probably can't process it the right way, but they see it. And they can realize that their mom or their dad is being loved by someone and that they love them. And you will feel when the time is right. Mm -hmm. You can't really just put a, a pinpoint, but you're going to feel it. The man or the woman, either one, y'all going to feel it. Mm -hmm. And hey, the kids going to kind of help invite that as well, mm -hmm. you know? Um that's my perspective on it. Okay. Now, what about the um, the actual person? Like, when do you think, do you have to? Because I don't know. I don't know if that's like a thing that people do. Like, do you have to say, hey, um, mother of my child, here's the woman that I'm dating now. 
Here's who I'm dating. Here's who I'm in a relationship. Oh. You have to do that now? Would Man. you expect the, her to do it with you? Mm -hmm. All right. See, I'm different. I'm a luck of the draw type of dude. You ain't going to find too many like me. Mm. Trust me. But what I mean by that is, nine times, like, I'm not going to say nine times ten, but most of the time, the baby daddy do have a problem with the um, baby mama and bringing a guy around in the situation, you know. Um, but on the woman's side, from my experience, it can go both ways. It definitely can. Um, the woman, she can have problems with the situation. She might not like the female. Um, Y'all might have ended on rocket terms, so... You know, it makes a lot of drama. Mm -hmm. um, what you think? Um, yeah, I agree. I mean, if you ended, I don't, I don't know of situations where you may have ended. Um, <laughs> right, right, KP. But I don't know of situations where you may have ended well. I personally don't want to meet nobody. Um, that you may know. I don't. I don't need to. That's. I, I just. I just don't. And I don't feel like I have to introduce mine to anybody else. Like I. I don't. I don't know. That just may be me personally, and that's probably because we're already in those situations. Mm -hmm. So we feel like that. I don't know how I would feel if I was just now meeting somebody. Like if I was just meeting my husband, and would I want to introduce him, or, or I felt the need to do that. Yeah. Um. But I don't feel the need. I don't think that I, there's a reason for me to say, hey, you know, original person, here's who I'm, you don't need to know. But again, that's coming from a place of, um, from you know, we already are in that situation. I can't really answer on how it would be, because I imagine I'll probably be the same. Probably still feel the same way. Like, you don't need, I don't need to meet nobody you dating. That's okay. As yeah. long as. I, I personally don't care. Yeah, but don't. it's like, oh, man. It's like, man. If you in a serious relationship and this ain't one of these little things that women just be doing sometimes, you know, y'all have a boyfriend, but he just sleeping with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, if it's something serious, then maybe the, the dad and the potential stepdad or whatever should meet each other. Well, maybe not should, could. Could meet each mm -hmm. other just on the terms of knowing who your children is around. You know, you ain't got to be all in their business. You ain't got to judge them. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you just want to at least see who they is. You know what I'm saying? Right. But that's only if that person cares. Yeah, if I they guess. care. Yeah. Um. So, I was just wondering what you thought on that. I, mm -hmm. You know, if you guys... I know KP is saying... <laughs> I hear what you're saying. Well, I read what you're saying. So, and I, I definitely agree. Mm -hmm. Um... But, I mean, if you all feel any differently, and for those who are joining us, hi. And what we're talking about so, um, is, briefly, is how, when when should you introduce um, that girlfriend or boyfriend to the mother of your child or father of your child or something like that. Uh, and, and we personally don't really think it's necessary, but that's not everybody. Some people do think it's necessary. I just don't. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, so yeah, KP, I guess that's what he's saying. So basically you're saying a man to man talk about you being around my kids. I suppose. Yeah. I suppose, you know, just depends on that situation. Right. Um, but if y'all have any comments about that, definitely drop them in the comment section and we can always revisit it. Uh, so what I also wanted to talk about was, mm -hmm. so I was watching this, I don't know, was it a podcast or it was something I seen on Facebook. And the lady was talking about how um, she was tired of hearing people say, you know, what are you bringing to the table? Like, what are females bringing to the table? Mm -hmm. And so she made the comment that I am the table. Mm -hmm. She said, she said, I bring my feminine, I bring my feminists, I bring, I bring me. And therefore, I what, should not. What? What? What, what? is this star? Y'all, y'all ever watch Star? Wait, this star? You talking about Fox? Yeah. Oh my gosh! That's the intro to the song to the to the show. Star. Yo, I bring, I bring me. It really is. Wait, do they say I bring me though? Yes. Mm -hmm. You right? I don't know if y'all ever watched. Don't ask me how that. I know. I got an old lady. I, that's how I know. I don't know if y'all ever watched that show, um, Star with the Three Girls that was singing, but that is I Bring Me. But she was saying I Bring Me. She said that I am enough. I shouldn't have to bring finances to your situation. I shouldn't have to bring this and I shouldn't have to bring that. Um, Hope, hmm? Rewind this a little bit. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I know. 
you said she she says she is the the table. Yeah. And you're speaking metaphorically for like when people say what you're gonna bring to yeah, the table. Yeah, or I, I know what I bring to the table. You know how people say that, yeah. yeah. All right, break down to me a little bit more. What does it mean that she's saying I'm the table? She said that I as a woman um bring well hell I don't know what she was saying. She just said I bring me. She said that quite a few times. But I guess what she was saying was that as a woman who mm -hmm. who is um, already independent, already working with, you know, good job, already have finances, already have this and that. Um, she's coming into this relationship already whole, maybe. Um, and so she was just saying that, that a man shouldn't expect her to come. The conversation shouldn't be, well, what type of finances do you have? Or what are our finances going to look like together? She was basically just saying, like, when I come to your this relationship, honey, you need to be bringing something. I'm already here. I have arrived. Um, I'm everything. I got one. I'm I got one word to phrase woman. that. You know what I'm saying? And um, that one word is duh. Like yeah, of course. Like yeah. Like. <laughs> so duh. so so let me. Well, let me let me explain. So what I took from it is, um, here's my opinion. I don't think. And I could be wrong. I'm not a relationship expert. My personal opinion is I don't think that we are complete. I don't think we're a whole. I don't think that any one person is complete in finances, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, um, all these things. I feel like for you to be complete and balanced, you need somebody else to, to you know. So if we're talking uh -huh. as a, in a table... Um, all, I think all tables come needing to be assembled. I don't, I'm not saying that you got to build a female or you got to build a male. But what I'm saying is that I don't agree that, don't get me wrong, if, if, if me and my husband wasn't together right now, he were to meet me, he would meet me already in the career. He would meet me already making money. But that's, but, but that don't mean that I'm emotionally where I need to be. That don't mean that I'm mentally where I need to be. So I don't think that um, we come as a full table already. I think, now don't get me wrong, if we're in a relationship, you shouldn't be like, so how much your paycheck is? Because I need to make sure you can match my paycheck. But I think that if we're going to be in a relationship, let's just be honest, um, you know, those are the type of questions that you got to have. You don't want to get in a relationship with somebody that's unequally yoked. You don't want to get in a relationship with a woman who has the mentality that I'm everything and then y'all don't set the boundaries and then when something needs to be paid or something happens or or if lord forbids you i don't you know whatever the situation is it's just not balanced right um so i just i think uh unfortunately i can't disagree with you on this you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. as much as uh, i'm kind of like how you were yesterday <laughs> i want to disagree with you i really do mm -hmm. but i really can't for the most part you know what i'm saying yeah i just it's i think a, it's a new day and age you know um, I think um I think men men need to continue the tradition of being men of um if even if you ain't the table and the woman is, you need to be those um leg pieces that hold the table. Right. Up. I feel like the you table is saying? a relationship. Um at the end of the day. You know, because you um, need table no legs. matter who it is, whether it's a man or a woman, you know, people get tired, people flawed. You know, people make people mistakes. People need work. You need somebody to people complete you. People need help. Yeah. You know, and the people who out there um, who might live like they don't need nobody or whatever, you know, life then told us we know how they really feel on the inside. Yeah, I mean, You know what on. I'm saying? We, we can see what you're putting out there, but we know how you feel on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We know. Because, yeah, I definitely think that it, it's just, it has to be a balance. So there's no... I, and, and I mean, it might be some people who out there who think that they are 100% yeah. complete and that they don't need anybody. Um, so when they come into a relationship, sir, you getting everything or ma'am, you getting everything. So, you know, that may be so. I just personally don't think that that's what it is. And I think that if we're going to talk about what we bring to the table, it should be a conversation on both ends. Yeah. It should be just as much as I want to know what you're bringing to my table. I need to know what... I'm bringing to yours because um, it's certain things that people, certain people need. And when you get into a relationship, you know, that should be a conversation that's had. But I saw it and I thought, hmm, because I've seen a lot of women who were just like, oh, right, da, 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 da. you know, of course, we 
pro women. So we just like, oh yeah, um, I am the table. I am the table. And you know, I started seeing this quote go um, down her comment section. I was just like, hmm. I don't know, you know, not saying that I need somebody to build me, but what I'm saying is I'm I'm not complete. Like if before my husband, I was, y'all think I'm unemotional, but when it came to affection and stuff like that, like that's just what my thing. And, um, it takes him to bring that side of me out. It takes him for me to be a softer version. You know, no, yeah. you know, <laughs> I'm a G. <laughs> don't, don't. She tell him the truth. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> You know, I'm from East Selma, sweetie. But um, no, but I, I, it, it took him to bring that side of me out. So yeah, I could say, well, if I, we was in a relationship, will bills not get paid? We were in a relationship, will I not be able to go on? Obviously, I will be because that's just the type of person my mama raised. However, um, am I complete? Am I the whole table? If he wasn't here, absolutely not. I don't think so. Um, oh my gosh. It sounded so feminine. You don't even like that, don't you? <laughs> that's how weird she it's is. Weird. Mm -hmm. It's weird. But true. Yeah, weird. That's, that's how weird so, you are. Um, and KB, I, I don't know. I guess maybe that's what she meant. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I was trying to read the comments. Uh, I don't know if these comments are late or what that I'm seeing. I don't know. <sighs> Right, right. And you know something I just I, I thought about I rarely hear women being called narcissists, but um oh, you they, abs they absolutely you absolutely are. right, Jamie. That that would be um yeah. That would be a little self centered. I, I imagine, my opinion, I think. And right, KP, um, I guess that's what she's saying. She's she's stepping into <laughs> KP said, No table needed. I can eat with my plate in my lap. He don't need a table. <laughs> yeah. He don't need it. You know, we from from way back when. We ain't got to have all that special stuff. So, yeah, I definitely agree, though. I was just wondering what you all thought because, you know, there's always different perspectives on things. And yeah. um, sometimes it just takes a different side. So, I actually, I didn't know if you was going to agree with me. I don't know because you had started off saying I absolutely agree. So, I was like, dang. So, you saying the woman coming to your table already hold. No, um, so you just that little piece that people use to extend the table. No, <laughs> what, you said. what what I was agreeing about is, um, ideally, mm -hmm. that's how a woman should be feeling. So the fact that she said it, I'm agreeing with that. But in reality, if that's how she feel, right? In reality, most of the time, it's gonna be an incomplete woman or an incomplete man, or it could be both, and you both grow together. Mm -hmm. But um. That's just in reality, though, for, for people in our world. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I think whatever she got going on, she got some special circumstances that allows her to feel that way, to speak like that. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm sure that wasn't her natural life, you know? Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, I noticed because I'm on TikTok a lot and I'm on, like, a lot of different... Um, since I started doing this, I started following a lot of different blogs, a lot of different podcasts, you know, just trying to get some insight and learn from people who've been doing this because uh, people who do podcasts have been doing this since 2014. Y'all, yeah. yeah, I'm just starting like this one. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm just trying to get a lot of insight. And sometimes I see where um, people have, you know, different opinion. Like, like I see sometimes where men say, um, don't, I, I've seen where a conversation was had about a man not wanting a female who's completely independent. And by that, he's meaning, you know, if you have that mentality that I'm so independent, then what do you need another man? What do you need the man for? Like, what, what are they here for? What, what are they doing? I'm like, what can they offer you if you already consider yourself so independent? Right. And. Um. I don't know. Go ahead. You come. No, go ahead. Finish. I well, no, I was just gonna say, um, because I suffer. <laughs> not say suffer, but I know that. Oh, uh, for a long time, I had that mentality. Like, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm me. <laughs> like, so I, if you know, if you leave, you leave. If you stay, you stay. I'm gonna be good regardless. And um, I, don't, I don't know. I just now in this in the point I am now in my life, I just don't necessarily agree with that anymore. But I know there's still a lot of people out there who's like, I'm independent. Mm -hmm. I don't need a man, or I don't need this. Well, and some I don't need people that. set up that way. Um, some women can say that because they are set up that way. Meaning, 
well, not exclusively meaning, but sometimes they might have parents who can help them, um, help support them. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they got family members who got certain things set up for them. So while they operating independently, they don't need nobody. But then you got other females who, um, who come from a different walk of life where mm -hmm. they don't got nobody but themselves. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, okay, yeah, you may be saying that and you might actually feel that way. Mm -hmm. But no, in reality, you definitely need somebody. Somebody got to tame all that. <laughs> you know tame. what I'm saying? And that person got to have a lot of patience. Yeah. A lot of patience. And and then when we when we talk about needing somebody and not needing somebody, are we talking in the sense of just financial? Because let's just be I'm honest. I'm just saying all around, all around the board. Right. Okay. So let's just be honest. There are some main things. There's a lot of things women need, but there are some main things we need. Of course, finances is one of them. I think that we need security and not just security like you're going to pop off if somebody pop off. I mean, security as in like making me feel comfortable, mm -hmm. making me feel confident, making mm -hmm. me feel like I'm not stupid, like I'm not the, uh, you ain't out here in these streets you ain't and, this they need that and then they need uh you know and they need sex. somebody nope somebody to run the show that's okay what they need. that's definitely not yeah. but so some, need somebody to run the show okay. look my past experience when you do try to let a woman that just is true run jamie it, just run the show you know the show always get canceled you know what i'm saying but when the man like take the initiative to lead the show mm -hmm. but y'all like do it 50 50 it seems to me that that works out just fine so let me regurgitate what you said oh you heard that big word okay I see. <laughs> um um so what you're saying is because because you know i'm a female mm -hmm. so when i hear you say let a woman run the show it gets canceled my female part of me i initially want to be like what the f you mean but what you're saying is <laughs> which I, i'm be honest like i i i, I instantly it want to i want to like me? like slap chat like what you trying to say but let me let Counsel. me let me regurgitate so what you're saying what i think you're saying is if a female if the woman is trying to lead that household it's not gonna prosper Wow, wow, you want to speak the word? Is that what you're saying? But if that man, because a man should leave that household, is that what you're saying? If that man steps up and say, okay, listen, baby, this is how we're going to do things. You know what I'm saying? Like, not her do things, but I, this is how we're going to do things. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. See, look, all right. Some women are incomplete, um, like incomplete versions of themselves. Mm -hmm. Some of them are almost there, and some of them are complete. So you got to first watch and figure out what type of woman you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? And that takes a lot of patience to do as well. You ain't going to find that out the first year, the second year, nor the third year. It's usually around that fourth year. You know what I'm saying? When you realize, like, I, right, I can be with her for the rest of my life, or I got to go and get up out of this. You know what I'm saying? Um, it might take a couple years to get on, go and get up out of there, but you, you already on game. Like, I, I got to get up out of this. You know if, what I'm saying? If the female is leading. No. It, well, yeah, but you got to, like I said, you have to see what type of female you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. You know, once you figure out what type of female you're dealing with, and say, for instance, you dealing with a complete woman already, meaning she done went through the struggle of life, she done um, went through rejections, finding out what she really liked, getting her fantasies out the way. You know, once, um, once you didn't, if you didn't find one of those, yeah, let her be the table. And like I said, man, be the pillar, the leg <laughs> to hold it up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just just let her be the table. All right. If you so you're saying with, let her lead. If she's a complete woman, yes. I ain't saying let her lead, but let her be the table. You know what I'm saying? You just you just make sure no matter what happened, you got the family going forward. If you got a complete woman. If you got a like semi-complete woman. But is there a complete woman though? There are some out there. Yes. Because if you are complete, would you be out here looking for a man? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why. So because, you're not complete then. Look, let me tell you why. Look, certain women attract certain men, right? But certain women can't help that they in an environment with nothing but 
men that's below their standards, and sometimes they got to settle, and sometimes they spend their whole lives doing that. But if they so happen to be around the people that's like for them, then yeah, they can find that that dude for them, and it gonna work the right proper way. It's, it's going to just work because he's going to already be on the same thing. He just need the woman version of him. So so what you're saying is if she's around like-minded people then and find a like-minded man, they will complete each other. Yes. Hence, they're not complete before they found each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I was just saying, I don't know. I'm just going to let you have that one. I know. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's not the ending of it, but I'll let you have it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hell no. No, that ain't how that go. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, like I said, complete woman. Mm -hmm. All right. Of course, once you a complete woman, it's just like the number one, combined with another number one, you make the number two, right? Okay. It's the same thing. You can be two complete people. But complete like your full circle of life type thing, which is what I'm speaking on when I'm saying she finds somebody like her. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it, like I was saying, if the woman is an incomplete version of what she's supposed to be in life, then um, that's why I mean like um, uh, those are the type of women who usually go through a lot of them ups and downs. They become scorned towards men. They become a little bit paranoid towards what we can do. And um, they might spend a long time trying to find the right man for them. Because in reality, certain dudes just can't handle them. And I ain't saying that to downplay a dude or to make it like the woman is so out of control. But, you know, when a woman don't even have their own life figured out, you can't figure it out for them when they like that. They, they got to do things they way to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. They probably will play along by your rules. But best believe on the inside, you know what I'm saying? They got a backup plan rolling at all times. This is the complete woman or the incomplete? That's the incomplete. Okay. 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 The midway complete woman is just a mixture of both ends of it. She can be like the best woman in the world, but... On another spectrum or something, something else, I... she ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? And you got to kind of fill that in for her. Okay. That's my opinion. Okay. I mean, I see what you're saying. That's just my opinion. I see what you're saying. Yeah, um, Jamie and Demetrius, I absolutely agree. Um, yeah, and that doesn't substitute your ability to lead. So, yeah. And, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think anybody has it figured out. Figured out. I don't know. And I guess maybe, so I'm coming from a perspective of someone who thought I had it all together. Like, you know, full transparency, if me, when, when back in our younger days, when me and my husband used to get into it all the time, he'd be like, I'm fine, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if you leave, I'm fine. It's all right. I, I, I can build the table, bring the table, feed the table. You know, like I felt I had that mentality. And despite thinking, okay, well, you know, this is, this is, I can do all this and I'm this and I'm fine and I'll be fine. I wasn't necessarily fine. And until I realized what my, and I hate saying it, but till I realized what my place was in certain relationships, regardless of how I feel that, um, you know, my ability to lead a household or my ability to do whatever it is that needs to be done, I still, I realized now, maybe later, but never, never too late. I realized that I do have a place in our relationship. So yeah. I don't necessarily, I don't know. How long I don't, it took you to realize that though? As, as my husband. <laughs> forever, forever, never. Like I, I don't know. It took, it, it took a while because my mentality was if I can do this, then I'm good. I don't, I don't need anybody to do anything for me. You're just an asset. You're just an add on. Like we, this is extra. Um, but that's just not, that's just not true. That's just not what it is. And I mean, so, yeah. I mean, I don't on, know now. how it's I feel about the complete especially part. Especially if you got a good man out there who ain't cheating on you, who ain't running the streets. Who ain't hanging with their homeboys all day. I only say that, not saying them bad things beside the cheating part. But um not saying them necessarily bad things, but those are things that What's take not away. Bad things? 
The um, team part? No, hanging with your homeboys. <laughs> or I, I say running the streets, but I really just mean being out and active. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, typically if you're running the streets, they Not use necessarily they saying they bad things, but they take away from your time with your What your you spouse. doing in the streets if you ain't doing the bad things? Not all the time mean like that. Some people just ain't homebodies, man. You know what I'm saying? Some people ain't. But um, if you got a good man who who do the opposite of them things and they at home with you, they there for you, they don't cheat on you, they provide for you, they always got your back no matter what, they don't steal from you because men steal. If they, um, if they, if y'all got children together and you don't got to worry about nothing, meaning if he a dude, you got Let's just say you got little girls. You ain't got to worry about no pedophile stuff. You ain't got to worry so about none security. of that. If, if you got all that with a man, then yes, you need to learn your place and you need to stay in it for real. And I know it sounds degrading, but it's actual facts. You know what I'm saying? If you do it that way, your relationship will flow. I promise you. Just follow. Follow. You know what I'm saying? When the man got it, just follow. And it works. You will be happy all the time. Okay. So, D Deidre, I see you said, mm, um. <laughs> you will be happy all the time. Sound like Jesus to me. To sound if, like. he, if he that good of a dude, he don't do none of them things. Yes. Mm. Man, follow that man. Jesus, Jesus, you know, because they spell the same. I, I don't know. Um. DJ, how you feel? It'll work out for you, trust me. What my ladies at? I don't know. I don't know what to say about this Because one. they probably following their man. Oh. And stuff working out for them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah. If they a good one. I keep saying that if they a good one. Demetrius, now, if you got a follow, sleaze really? ball or something, then no, nah, don't follow Follow doesn't that. equal happiness. You will well, end, you end up happy because your man, not only you got a good one, you ain't worried about nothing, but he handling business. It makes you a happier woman naturally. Of course, you might be unhappy with things like maybe your job or something like that, right? But no, when it comes to your relationship, your comfort space, as long as that's on lock, you a happy woman. You have broke fans and everything, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Leisha. For real, your hair grow fast. When you're happy, hey. When you're truly happy, your hair grow. Put, putting all I, the chemicals in there, it, it works. We so would you got some against perms now? No, I ain't talking about them. Now I will say, I'm talking about hair growth chemicals. I Just will say happy. that my hair has been growing a lot. You happy, ain't you? It's been growing a lot. Damn. I will say that. Y'all know I be bald headed most of the time. But uh, I ain't that bald so, headed no more. So your hair growing fast. You're happy, right? <laughs> you also said you had to learn your place, right? I did. I don't like the, uh, I Three don't like the way it Look like you agree with me. So you know listen, what I'm saying? listen, like listen, listen. With me. I, I don't like I don't the know. tone of what you said. I don't like what you said coming from you. Don't <laughs> don't worry about the tone, ladies. Okay? Sometimes, yeah, you worry about the tone. Because sometimes me and got attitudes. But sometimes, listen to what we saying. X the tone out and listen to the words. Did you have this conversation with my husband before we came on here? Uh huh. And I as like long him. as, as long as he's telling the truth, listen to him. Don't worry about the tone. Now, if he lying or I don't know what he talking about, all right, whatever. Listen to him. If it's the truth, listen to it. Trust me. Mr. Williams, it sounds like y'all had this discussion before. He always be saying, if you just listen to me. I, you know, I mean, yeah. Uh, what can I say? What? What happened? I can't say that. No, I'm just saying that you oh. sound like him. But I just say I don't know what to say. I sound like Jamie. That's what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Maybe because we dudes? I don't know. Maybe. You know? I, I can't maybe say because, that because Maybe because we that. good dudes. Look at him. You know what but I'm I'll saying? be right most of the time. But um I okay, so you know, um I <laughs> mean when you say that you know if the man doing right and like Deidre said, because I I you know, let me throw it over to a female. Like Deidre said, if he's following God, then why not follow that man? And if he's doing what his part to make you happy, then th there's not an issue with following that man. So I so yeah. Yeah, it's just follow and place 
And, you know, those type of terminology just sounds so out of place in my uh, energy. Get but, with it. But that's that an is, ego thing. That is. Bro. Come on. But I feel what you're get saying, though. Oh, Lord. This is thought <laughs> he said, he this said, is, let me. This is thought culture we live in. That's Come on, true. now. Now, I'm just saying. It's an ego thing. Wait, I'm not a thought, though. You can't, I know. When you hear certain words, it makes you feel a way. And that's mm -hmm. an ego thing. It's not what being said, it's how it's said. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so you, when you hear it, it sounds like you're saying, you think in the man is saying you're beneath me. No, it's not. It's just saying that sometimes listen to me because I see a thing different than you see. Right. You're right. I don't know. I don't know if they hear you, but you're absolutely right. And sometimes we ain't always right, but most right. of the time we is. Right. I, I will always be like, I, you right. Damn it, I'm always right. Look now. If only on. you do what I, I see, it, you will see that I was right. You know what I'm saying? And I if feel... I'm wrong, I'll learn from you, which makes me right. <laughs> what in the Dorothy Parker slash Caprice Parker is that? There we go. You know what I'm saying? Man, you heard I'm start using it. It made perfect sense. That was Jamie talking in the background. Um, look what Deidre said. She's hello, let me scroll back down. She said sometimes when a woman follows a man, he starts to feel like some what? Let me read. She he said, starts to feel like you're wrapped okay. around his finger and starts following another chick. Hold on, that hold happens on. too. Let me say that again. I mean, read that again. I'm reading it. But oh, read it go again. ahead. Read it again. She says, sometimes when a woman follows a man, he starts to feel that he has you wrapped around his finger and he starts following another chick. That's true. I'm sorry. I, hey, man. Hey, hey. That's true. You know what I'm saying? When we do, some, t some men, when they feel like they do got you wrapped, they will, you know what I'm saying, add another one to the team. And sometimes, they feel like they got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? We'll try to go for three. Three of them things. Straight up, you know what I'm saying? What you saying, man? Um, oh, okay. Three of them things. You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, my husband said, I ain't gonna lie. what are you she, talking about? She right when it comes to certain dudes now. Hey, women. Y'all, hey, come on now. Some of y'all women are the smartest women in the world, and I know it. But come on now. You got to watch who you choose now. You know what I'm saying? Um, If you want them and everybody else want them, you probably don't need to be with them. First of all, now wait, wait. Let's just slide on over to that. First of all, don't nobody be want y'all. When we want y'all half of the time, the, women don't want the th these folks. Don't be wanting your man until you got the man. Mm, uh huh. Mm -hmm. I th mm. As soon as you post a stack, me and baby, or we I in a think, relationship, I think, the yeah, women, I think the women wouldn't mind having that man, but once they get in a relationship, it's like competition to them to try to mess with them to see if he gonna budge from her to be like. Ah, uh -huh, your man will cheat on you. What's the point? Okay. Like you ain't got a good one. Yeah. You okay. Ain't got a good one. Okay. You thought you okay. Did. But you know what I'm but saying? so we so so we just gonna negate the fact that 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 man was weak was weak enough to allow her to come into it. It now it is it is. But Some men get caught up in other women games, y'all. We sometimes we be caught in the crossfire, man. <laughs> What? <laughs> we so be y'all the victims. Y'all the victims. Yeah, sometimes we victims. I swear to God. Right hand. We victims. Help us. We need help. Sometimes we get tempted. Help us. We need help. Please. We victims. You know what I'm saying? I'm sometimes we get caught in the crossfire. Another woman be like, yeah, man. Exactly. I'm finna mess her life up. So I'm gonna use him to mess her life up. And you get caught up in the middle, man. Mm hmm Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. They, they definitely don't want them until you give them a bath. You groom them up. And then they want to start smelling themselves. What we say about them kids? They start smelling themselves. And groom then they want to be grown. Y'all hear that? I can't let that slide. Groom them up. Yes, because sometimes you have to. Sometimes. What you mean groom like, us up? It, it, it goes to both, both It sides. do. It, it do. Comes. Because sometimes you might be unhappy with your man and somebody else comes and tells you what he can do. He'll show you that the grass may be greener on the other side when it's really not. You're right. Because the difference is men are tempted by women in in, in like a physical form. Y'all are tempted by men in a financial form that can provide false security. Mm -hmm. he, he can tell you like, yep. oh, your man ain't doing this for you. Oh, he ain't got this money? Well, I got money. I can help you pay your bills. I can do this, this, that, and the third. But if he could really do that, then he would already have a woman 
that he would be taken care of. And if he's trying to step out on her to, sit, to, to persuade you away, then that was just a false sense of security that he provided you. And if you weak, you can fall too. Okay. And, yeah. and that did not come from no book, y'all. That came from that man, Dawn. <laughs> oh. Straight up. He need he do D uh D said you need to come closer so they can hear you. Oh, let me pull me on camera. Let me add you. Lord Jesus. I f where my ladies at? Let me pull up my, my oh, comfort line. looking bad for y'all, I swear. <laughs> y'all better rise up. You know what I'm Let saying? Let me pull up my it comfort bad line. For it ain't, you know first of all, it's not looking bad. Uh, we just let y'all have y'all moment. You know, Jamie, you know, hey, getting bad for y'all. We just let y'all have y'all moment. Look, okay. Look like, you know, y'all need us or something. You know what I'm saying? Look like y'all need us or something. Uh, uh, well, I don't think nobody is saying that we don't need our men or we don't need our whoever we're in a relationship with. Well, say oh, it. Lord, here say he it. Say it. I need. Here he come. I, I need my I husband. I need my husband. I need my husband. I sure do. Uh, do it again. First of all, don't get slapped on camera. Okay? Don't get slapped. Women out there, y'all say it. I can't hear you, but just say it. Say I need my whatever he First is of all, too. now I will say this, and um, this is not directed to me personally or my husband or you or anybody else. But first of all, some men got to be, some men got to be in a position to be needed. Like you got to be able to bring something for her to be needed. Because like you said, sometimes women don't choose the best options. Sometimes we get into relationships with people and, or we may have been in a relationship with you and you had something to offer and you decided to take it away. So it's not just That's a true. woman needing that man. Cause that goes both ways because there are some men who will do his part you know, he will financially do his part, but doing everything under the sun. And so you're providing her the finances, but you're not providing her security. She can't walk into a room full of women and not feel like half of those women talking to her man or slept with her man. Or she don't, she can't, she don't wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and think, oh, I'm beautiful today because you're not making her feel that way. So it, it can go both ways. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll say it all the time. Like I need mine. I feel some type of way if I if I put something on and Jamie went like, oh, you look beautiful. It's because I'm getting used to that. Like I'm I'm used to him giving me that security, not just on how I look, but just in general. But we need that too. So so just so yeah, it, it's it's not us just out here like, oh, well, we so don't need no man. You saying we need we need y'all too? That what you saying? First of all, oh, you absolutely need us. You damn absolutely right. Absolutely, I need, need my woman who when I come home have my house clean. First my of all, that clean. is not what I. Mean. I need my woman who makes sure I, I'm going to eat at all times of the day, which is why I'm gaining so much weight. I need my woman to make sure I got whatever I need in the day on a daily basis. Well, I sure need... Okay, I don't well, go without... Well, what a woman need is her man to make sure she ate. Her, a woman needs a man to make sure she's okay. She need to make sure that she don't go without. She need a man that's making her feel secure. That's making sure that's making sure the things are taken care of that he needs to take care of. Well, so what? it ain't just one side. Guess what though? I'm all that for mine. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm all that for mine. And what? if I'm lying, I bet she in a live chat. Man, when you Let coming know, on? Baby. When, when you coming on the Let camera? Know. Don't it's, you do it, Leisha. This ain't this ain't the time. Look. She can't go without me. I can't go without her. I don't her. see the ad option for you. You know what I'm saying? We a perfect example of that. Exactly. Come on, Leisha. You better come on. It goes both ways. I just said that. I know, but you was doing a whole lot of, I need my woman to do this. So let's just wait, wait a minute now. It's, it's both ways. See, that's how negative women think. <laughs> let, no, let me break this down to you. Right? Yo, yo, lady said that. I just sat up there she and said, said it goes that I place. need my woman to do A, B, and C, right? Do you not hear what I'm saying? That's an example of when y'all need to not listen to the tone and listen to the words. I just clearly admitted that I need my woman for all them things. Yes, but the things that you I'm just saying. listed yes. was just, oh, I need her just to cook and No, to clean I did not say just to, sure to do okay. anything. When I'm you, just naming the things that when if, you if I having, didn't have her, I would miss them. When you're having a bad day, do you not need her to make you feel better? When you need support, uplifting, we it's it's a lot. So that just was gonna be my name, phone five six seven okay, well, eight. Okay, well, damn it, get to four five six seven eight because you stopped at one two three, and I don't like that. To be honest, y'all, I only stopped. 
Because she cut me off. <laughs> Rewind it if you don't I, believe me. Uh, uh, who child? Let me add this man on here. Jamie, don't come over here. No, I, I, mean, I ain't saying nothing yet. No, no. Rewind it if you don't. I'm up here with this foolishness. Hey, it's oh, yes. women out there that cut the grass. I ain't finna cut no grass, but it's the women out there that cut the grass. I love mine, and she love me. I'll do whatever for her, and she'll do. You don't know why. All right. Listen. Right, Good. Jenny, look, say look, it. Look at the way. Look at the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm feeling a little nauseous. I'm feeling a little seasick. Okay, Are you ever going to turn your thing now? What's up, though? Yeah, y'all go ahead. I'm here. I just want. I'm gonna chime in. I think you you're echoing a lot. I know I'm gonna turn my vibe. I'm turning vibe now. We good? Uh, uh. You might have turned. Um, oh, I know why he's echoing because he picking up on his mic and I was probably. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna have to turn my watch card. Go ahead. Um, but go ahead. Um, Kendrick. Um, it's clearly a man's world. Yeah. Yeah. We've been this much. No, I ain't saying there's no man world because I clearly agree when you spoke on the. Uh, Look, ain't no way y'all try to flip this. I don't fuck y'all good women out there. You know what I'm saying? Why you got to put juices on good women? <laughs> Why can't this be women? Good women out I'm for y'all. Mm -hmm. You know, the other ones y'all just got to continue to go through stuff and it's somebody for everybody. Same with men. Some of them incomplete. Just got to go through stuff. You know, and there's a woman out there for them or whatever case for it all. Mm. We be cleaning that up. Though. Cleaned it up real good. Y'all, you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you be cleaning yeah. it up. It's still echo. Did y'all hear it echo? I don't know, but um, Mr. Williams, go ahead, cause you look. No, no, I mean, I agree. I mean, I need my woman because you know, what I'm saying sometimes I need you to tell me I look good, you know, cause that it's vice versa. Cause I'm gonna tell you you look good, but sometimes I be wanting you down. You look good today. You feel me? I need you to, when I'm having a bad day. What you do? I'm not saying that you don't. I'm just saying that as a man, we need that from a woman. Some women don't do that. Some women want oh, just they on, want to be echoing all to everybody. Is it because it's closer? I don't know. If he could turn off his mic, then he probably. I know. I don't know. I might have to leave out though. Well, you can leave out and just come closer. I'm, first of all, they they didn't. You up here with him. He, Y'all, he done walked around here with a do rag stocking cap on for about seven days, and he gonna get on live and one hit. Now he gonna make people see sick. Man, I tell you. What you gonna do with that though? Absolutely not. I don't know. I don't want to know. I tell you, looks like nowadays go get another woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's what y'all do with that list. First of all, go get a girlfriend. Your wife. Okay, too, so we somehow have children. You know, we know the process. Y'all have children with each other and have a whole family. So you family. just gonna you just gonna jump down, huh? Right. So Thanks. what you so what you saying is it's not the tone; it's the truth. Facts. They are just, they go with women. So what you saying is that. <laughs> look, look, he up here, he's showing out. He said, so what he said for y'all who might just be joining in is that what would women do without the men? And so I said, ain't nothing I would do without mine. And he said, well, it seems like some of y'all gonna go out here and find another woman. I don't know um, what he mean by that. So elaborate. Oh, really? Yes, elaborate. He's showing out. trying to set me up for the kill. But y'all know exactly what I mean by that. Y'all know, you know, sometimes it don't work out with um men and women go to other women. Be more. Oh, I see. That's it. That's all I mean. But, um, okay, well, nah, nah don't try to get all quiet now. You was just up here talking about what it looks like. It's clean right here, y'all. They up here. You don't catch me slipping too bad. It's a rose out there. And you better say that thing, um, DJ. It's a whole, whole lot, a whole lot of options out here. It is. In these streets. I believe you. It is. I believe you. Well, okay. So y'all showed out. Um, moral of the story is I, I definitely um, don't disagree with them. I think that we all 
have to we have we we all need somebody there you go we all need somebody yeah she's snapping pictures for the most part yeah we all need somebody so um yeah i just you know my my brother get that life insurance money you, don't need <laughs> you get that um mm, i don't know that insurance <laughs> fraud money he said i know you know what i'm saying you don't even mm -hmm. go mm -hmm. you know you mess around go to atlanta and get with a celebrity because they all in atlanta you don't need no more you know what i'm saying but alicia david you better type dude like me i'm like okay if you finna do that i right. i'm gonna I'm a, I'm a peep it out you know what i'm saying but I want, I want that money. You finna, mm -hmm. I want it all. So, okay. You Let's, can live the life with them, but you better pay me to let you live. Okay, life. so listen, 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 listen. First of all, what it sounded like what you were saying was if your woman wanted to go be with a celebrity, they gonna have to pay you so she can be with them. Hell no. What'd you just say? I <laughs> said. <laughs> <laughs> what I you said, talking about? if that happened. What, and what happened? She better be paying me. If what happened? If somehow they met a a, a celebrity and if your old lady one, did, yeah, and like the celebrity coerced them to run off with them, it's oh, like <laughs> okay, that's my big word for the day. Okay, but so, you know, um, so we we are celebrity pimping. That's what we're doing. No, nah, you know what I mean. Say for instance, dog, uh, you in Atlanta and you go to the airport, and anybody who'd have been to Atlanta airport know you gonna see some celebrities there. Mm -hmm. Now, say for instance, you down there, and one of them dudes that you will listen to or watch or see on TV holler at you, and you make a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Um, That's a big idea. It's like, yeah, but it's like, okay, if you done made that mistake with this man who make like millions of dollars, you about to break me off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or that's all I'm you know what? Let's talk about this. That's all I'm <laughs> all. Let's talk about this then. Okay. I'm gonna break me off. So so in, in the spirit of breaking off and talking about um, you know, getting paid for your significant other sleeping with a slip. It sounds really shade room to me. But um T just said start an entanglement. But in that interest, um, how do you feel about situations where like not just a male and not just a female, but I, you know how people, what is it called nowadays? When a man takes money from a woman that he's messing with or she takes money from the man. How do you feel about those situations? Like as a man, if you were in, as a man, if you were talking to a female, y'all messing around, you were in a relationship, whatever the case may be, are you comfortable with taking money from her or like having her buy you stuff and do all this stuff to give you money, stuff like that? Or are you comfortable with doing the same thing for women? Because I you know I do see a lot of posts on Facebook, you know, some people, and they always posting about the twenty dollars, the forty dollars. Isn't it forty dollars now? Is what they give women? Some women, certain those type of loose ones oh, out here. Look, but I hear about the forty dollars thing. So how do you feel about that? Let me be real. I used to be the type of guy who wanted to pay for everything. Nowadays, I'm just being 100. If a woman want to pay for anything, hell yeah, you can pay for it. I ain't putting on no arm. Oh, if you want to buy me some shoes, about. you most definitely can do it. If you want to buy me a new iPhone, I'll let you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Um, I got your back too, but I ain't turning down no money, no gifts. You want to give me $10, I'll get here. You know what I'm saying? I might spend it on you anyway, but I'm taking it out your hand when you hand it to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank you. You feel me? Are you giving up money? Yes. In return, everything is like full Okay. Circle. So let's say this, right? Let's just say you, Alicia and the Russia, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say. Now, not necessarily you, because I want Alicia to, you know, jump on me. But if you were in a situation where you was in a relationship and then you were talking to somebody outside of that person who was in a relationship, are you comfortable taking from them or giving to them? what say it one more time if you okay so let's just say you and leisha was married yeah and you start talking to somebody outside of her mm -hmm. would you be one of those guys who was giving her the other the outside person money or would you be okay with that person on the outside giving you money buying you stuff okay you're talking about the person you cheating with? yes the person you cheat i was trying not to say cheating no nope. my time my risk of a relationship is enough for you you ain't getting no money but will you take money from her? You damn right. You know what I'm gonna do with it? I'm gonna go spend gonna it on that. my old lady. I'm gonna go buy her. <laughs> I'm 
I'm gonna go buy some Chinese food with no restriction. You feel me? I'm gonna take her to Applebee's with no two for twenty five. You Whoa. feel me? Um, we Big going, stuff. we going to walk ons. Come on. <laughs> uh, we going to East Chase, baby. We ain't riding around on Fairview and Eastern Boulevard. We going to East Chase. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm gonna do. I ain't giving her no money. I'm definitely taking hers. I'm gonna spend it on my woman. You know? He said he'll take it. <laughs> he said, first of all, <laughs> you want an egg roll with that? With that? No, no limitations. You know what I'm saying? You know how we be. Get what you want, but hey. What now doing? I will what say, if you're gonna be out here in these streets, then then your your significant other should at least benefit from it. Cause okay, let's just say like with me and Jamie, we're we're married. If Jamie was talking to another female and this female was taking him away from me, like all his his attention, his time and all this, then god damn it, he should he should get some out of that. He he should. I, no, I mean I get and he should use it on me. But now if you're allowing this person they show do have a need you but if you're allowing if you are in a situation and you're taking from this person and you're not getting anything in return then like that's horrible i think yeah. i don't think you should cheat period yeah, but i'm yeah, just yeah. saying but like, I, I just want to point something out mm -hmm. right the example that you just clearly said was the exact same thing i said about if my woman went to atlanta and cheated with a rap star you no, gotta no. break me off. No, but you're talking about thing. celebrities. Right. At least a celebrity got yeah, money. Yeah, but to I'm break not saying off. no, okay. I not I nobody who work at you better not say it. Um, so listen, <laughs> what I'm saying is I don't want my husband cheating at all. But if you are going to cheat and if you are going to take something from her and all that stuff, then I agree with you that at least you can do the spending on me. What I don't agree with is if you were getting caked, because that's what it's called, if you were getting caked by a female and you were selfishly keeping it to yourself, like, damn, you already giving half of your attention to somebody else and you ain't even sharing your fruits of your labor to, with your lady. I'm agreeing with you. All I'm saying is what you're saying is the same thing that I'm saying. Well, you said a celebrity. Okay, a celebrity actually has the chance of breaking you off any type of way. Not no regular person. Every I feel day, like man. what you're talking about is like that movie when they went to the casino and the man, rich man, was like, "Hey, I want to sleep with your wife, and I give you a million dollars." And they was broke, so they did. No, I ain't saying I want the celebrity to break me off. I'm saying like whatever benefits the woman reaping while she cheating, I want some of that to at least deal with it. Or if I ain't gonna, you know, first forty-eight you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But um give me some money. Now you know first of all, that can go a lot of different ways. You say you snitching or you killing. I don't know. I don't know. Investigate. There you go. Y'all, my brother is crazy. I don't I don't know. Investigate. I don't know what else to say about him. He is crazy. Alicia got a handful with him. But yeah, I mean I guess, I guess if you if you gonna be out there in the streets, you should at least benefit from it. Everybody should benefit from it. Bottom line, nobody be out there in the streets. Just stay at home. Yeah, you should. You should. Just stay at home. We should all be practiced with staying at home due to COVID, um, the COVID thing. So, outside of COVID, you should be out here. No, I'm not saying that. She trying it, y'all. I'm just getting clarification. No, I'm just saying, you know, we should be, a lot of people should be used to, you know, just staying at home. Because they shouldn't be out here messing with nobody. They might be hanging with their friends, you know? People might be around them that they weren't expecting to be around them. Mm -hmm. Things like that happen all the time. So, listen, let me ask you this. I think I had this on either a live I had before or a video. How do you feel about opposite sex women? Oh, Lord. Y'all want to be, you want the fake answer or the real answer? I want the real one. The real answer is for a dude, we don't need to have no female friends because more definitely we're going to try to sleep with them. Um, <laughs> or tried to sleep with them got curved so bad that now they are best friend or <laughs> or you tried to take it there with them and embarrass yourself so bad but she had sympathy for you to the fact that you were like all right you my best friend i gotta keep this secret somehow you know what i'm saying um other than that i don't think no woman should let a man have a best friend and vice versa do not do it do not do it so what you're saying is never don't do it that if a man is friends with a female <laughs> it's because he was curved so bad so i mean i don't know i gave i gave him i gave two so options. everybody you was friends with 
it was because I don't be I don't be friends with females unless they related or friends with my girlfriend. That was gonna be the next thing I said. If you gonna have a female friend, it need to be your girlfriend or your wife be friend. Be be you feel me? It need to be they friend who you done got so cool with. Hell no. You, you can't, can't be friends saying? with no. I wish Jamie would no. You can't be Other so than that, cool. He can't have his own outside one. It just ain't like I ain't saying all men gonna fall for the bait because some of them don't. But what I am saying is you don't want to be paranoid for no reason. That, you don't want to be having that mental stress for no reason. Just didn't don't they say black men, don't you? They lie, man. I said, didn't they say black men don't cheat? He said they lied. They lie. I don't they know lie. why. I don't know why Charlemagne started saying that, but that is a bold faced lie. I don't know what the meaning of it's supposed to be, but I, that's a lie. It, it, it meant that black men don't cheat. Yeah, until a white woman walk across their face. Sorry. But black men do cheat. So so you faithful and to to the persuasions of the other it's coming through and then you're not faithful. Not saying that, but I was just saying um I was just using a white woman as a metaphor for just outside forces. But what you're saying is black men do cheat. I just, you know what? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, political. All right. I just don't agree with that statement. If it's meant to be taken literal, literally, you better not. <laughs> but if you it's, told me nah, to. If, unless it was meant to be taken literally, all right, you know, I don't agree. Black men do cheat. Like, what the fuck? But if you're trying to make a, like, a political stance type of way when it comes to the black men communities, then maybe, okay, I can understand that. But, man, that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? That's a lie. I can't agree to an old bold face lie like that. Well, okay, there you have it. From um, Mr. Kendrick, he said, "For I'm one, cheap. but you, but you black." Man, he said, "Black men don't cheat. That is a lie. I don't <laughs> cheat, and that's the truth." <laughs> okay, um, so there you have it. Uh, black men do cheat. Not this black man, but black men do cheat, and um, men should not have female friends. So what do you think about females? Do you think females can have male friends? No. Why not? Once again, it's not necessarily because you're going to have sex with them. Maybe that's like 90%. But the other 10% is just a paranoia, the opposite spouse got to go through. Meaning, while you send up your text note, they got to go through the mental process of not um, like jumping, down, breathing down your throat trying to read it not trying to start something because they in their feelings, wondering if it's more than what you telling them it is. All them different cycles of emotions and thoughts is unnecessary. You kill it by not letting it happen. And that's all I'm saying. Okay. I see what you're doing there. All right. There y'all have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we talked about a lot tonight. Um, yeah, Deidre, I mean, I can't... I don't like agreeing with them. I can't disagree um, as far as the friends. And when we say friends, let's just clarify because um, I don't want you going home. Then Alicia, like, well, you act like you cool with it that work with you. So, no, so she know I don't play them games. That's why so, I can speak wholeheartedly like this. To clarify. We don't play them games. All her old friends, she knew all her life that was males. No. Any females that I knew from the past life? No. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know, we just got that mutual thing for each other. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes it takes that. So not every relationship. Now, as um, Alika would love to say, you know, it's all about perspective. And not every relationship is on that type of where they, they can't have opposite sex women. Some people are, are comforting it. Now, I ain't saying me, because now I don't want my husband being. Now, I feel like. I feel like I can handle myself accordingly. So I can be cool with somebody. Not yeah, cool yeah. with, wait, wait, not cool with, like, I ain't, we, we, we hanging out like that. It's, it's long work related. But I feel like I can do that. Now, Will, if my husband said, hey, man, when I get off work, I'm about to go have some drinks with Sharon and Jessica and Michael from work, hell no. <laughs> I'm just being honest. If any men watching this, you know, hey, don't, don't let them. Women, don't let them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can see that. Don't let them. You know what I mean? 
I see that. Because, I mean, it's all about security of a relationship. Now, there are some people who may be on this live who may watch this and say, no, I'm very secure in my relationship that my husband can have friends. To be honest with you, I don't like mixing, like, people that I'm cool with, like, from work or whatever. Um, they be like, man, Jamie, my home, because, you know, Jamie, cool. When we have these conversations, Jamie always have that good input. Am I trying to be like, hey, best friend, can you go um, pick my husband up for work? Or, hey, can you go out with my husband and y'all, you know, do this and do that? No, nah, it ain't no planning, no birthdays behind my yeah, back. No it ain't none of that. Um, no, no lunch dates, no having drinks, no yeah, car so I, pooling, I no meeting at the gas stations, no um, giving me coupons, no buying me Krispy Kreme donuts, none of that stuff. You Krispy know what I'm Kreme? saying? You know how dudes do? They'll buy somebody some Krispy Kreme donuts. You know, they know women love some Krispy Kreme donuts. You are. I love them. No, I don't, I don't care for Krispy Kreme. If I bought you, you don't like no donuts. So because I'm fat, I got I got a little Krispy Kreme. No, I don't care for them. What do you care about? Not Krispy Kreme. Give me a, give me an idea. Of Hell no, because you're not going to say it on here. I was. But I don't care about Krispy Kreme like that. Yeah, y'all. You tried to end this show um, twice. So I didn't, actually. You didn't? No. Oh, well, um. But we can now. But y'all, thank y'all so much for joining. Um, he'll be back tomorrow, I suppose, if he, you know. Um, so thank y'all. Make sure you share my live, y'all. Share, share, share. Like, comment, subscribe. Go over to my YouTube page. My links are in the description box below um, for my husband's page as well. Y'all, good night. It was Bye. Oh.